well, it's a bright, sunny Saturday morning in mid-May in Central California. And this is Dr. Michael Bogart with Aspect Ministries. I usually like to look a little better for my videos when I do things on the Bible and other kinds of things like that. But this is one of my DIY videos and I'm building a chicken coop. Actually, you can see here, I have an existing chicken coop. There are some of my chickens. But we have decided that since eggs are so expensive these days, that we'll, we're gonna enlarge our chicken coop and add some more chicks very soon. But to do that, we've gotta have a place for them separate from the regular chickens because the regular chickens will probably kill the chicks. So I am showing you what I've done so far in this project. You can see that I have built a base. I simply took two four by four pressure treated posts and I cut these two posts in half to make four legs and I sunk them into the ground. And then I took an old pallet. Now pallets usually have spaces in between the slats, but you can see that what I've done there is I've custom cut some other uh, lumber of more or less the same dimension and I filled in those cracks to make a floor. So this is simply a, a 48 inch by 32 inch pallet, which is now gonna be the floor of my chicken coop. And I, I like to do things with materials that otherwise would just be junk and if they can be repurposed, I really enjoy that. So I did that. I actually did the pallet first and then I um, attached the legs and was able to put them in position. And then once they were in position and marked, I was able to then uh, take a post hole digger, which is right there. And I was able to dig in the spots where the posts had been standing as I moved it back. And then I was able to then sink the posts into those holes. Now, yesterday I finished building the frame for this and you can see it's, it's some older lumber that I had along with some new two by fours that I bought. And it's simply 32 inches deep and 48 inches wide. I made a sloped roof. You can see how I cut the two by fours to fit. This is going to be the entry door for the chickens right here. It's an entry door. This is nothing. This is going to be support for a shelf. There's going to be a shelf that goes across here. Why? Because here, and I haven't done the final framing of this yet, but over here on the side is going to be the egg door. So the chickens are going to lay in this space in here. And then I'm gonna have a shelf up here so that when the chickens roost up above, they won't poop into their own nests. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a bit. Okay, so now for the egg door. Let's put that in place. This is where you would go to get your eggs as they're laid. I've pre-drilled some holes in the wood here. I found that, especially when I'm using old junk wood like this right here, the wood's really hard, so it's best to pre-drill the holes. So we'll, we'll make the opening for this egg door, and then later when we put the siding on, we'll be able to put the door on too. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and attach the frame to the base using some three inch screws right here. I'll do that all the way around. The frame is 48 inches high in the front and it's 32 inches high in the back. I've framed it with the standard 16 inch on center um, framing in the front and in the back because it's 48 inches wide. And then on the sides, I just simply put, not exactly a stud, but a, yeah, sort of a small stud uh, about halfway down the depth of it. That will help me hold the siding on. And the roof, it's just a two foot on centers. So I just have three rafters. 
course, that'll get covered with, with that OSB and then the roofing material. All right, so what I decided to do as far as roosting for the chickens and also as a sort of a shelf where they could stand, I guess, if they wanted to, um, but also to make sure that when we reach in the egg door right here, that there's not gonna be poop all inside the nesting area right here. So what I've decided to do is I, I took some cedar fence boards, very thin, and I put them together with some cleats. You can see these cleats. And then also to reinforce them strength-wise with just some junk, um, almost like one by stuff that I had. So that is going to go right here. It's gonna go right here. And so that they can roost, I'm gonna put a roosting bar on top. Do the same thing on this other side. So there'll be two roosting places. This one will be over the actual entry door for the chickens. Then as far as a ramp, this is a little on the short side, but I think I've got an idea of how I can attach this ramp. And of course I'll put cleats on it so the chickens can, you know, catch their feet as they walk up. Okay, so now you can see that I've got my covers over the door and over the egg box door in place along with the roosting places where the chickens can stand. So I think we're ready to start putting siding and roofing on. So now I've put on the front piece of siding, just using 5 8 inch plywood, which would be fine for a chicken coop. I'll make sure it's painted and primed and all that stuff really well. So that's on there. Now I've got to cut the opening for the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a pencil mark on the inside where the door is gonna be and then I'll cut it out. Okay, now you see I have a little hole down there, a doorway for the chickens to go in at the bottom left and it's pretty well fitted in. I'll put a door, uh, an actual door that can close on that opening, but I'll do that later. Now let's tackle the back. The back is gonna be shorter than the front. Looks something like that. It's gonna be 48 inches wide by about 36 inches tall. So now I have the back on and you'll notice that I have a big chunk cut out in the bottom left of the back. And that is going to be a clean out door. A lot of times when you're planning a project, you don't think about maintenance. And what's the maintenance for a chicken coop? Well, it's cleaning out all the poop of the chicken coop. So I have planned to have a door and you can see, I'll get down here where you can, where you can take a look at it. I'll show you a better picture of this when I actually get hinges on it, but it goes like that. You open it up and you can clean out the back of the chicken coop. And you can see that I have the left side of the chicken coop on. I've got the back on, I've got the front on, and now the left side. That went pretty smoothly, although my dimensions were a bit off, but luckily I cut it a little big, so I was able to go back and cut it the right size. So that's really good. But here's the deal. Don't you just hate these how-to videos where everything goes perfectly for the person who's presenting? Now I have a doctorate and it's in education. That may be something I'm kind of good at, but construction, I just fly by the seat of my pants. And I'm assuming that a lot of people out there watching this video would also be doing the same thing. So I made a huge mistake, but it's fixable. I guess you could call this oaky construction or fly by the seat of your pants construction. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here's the right side of the chicken coop. I thought I had it all made. I was just gonna make the right side as a mirror image of the left. And you can see that I had several days ago when I filmed the earlier portion of this, I had cut the egg door, the door where you're gonna reach into the nest. 
and pull out the eggs, and it's right here. This is the egg door. I forgot and kind of thought maybe the egg door was back here, and so look what I did. I cut the egg door on the wrong side of the right side. So how do you fix that? Well, I'm going to put the piece back in place. I'm going to screw it to some pieces of plywood across the back and sides so that it's nice and tightly in place. It won't look pretty on the inside, but I don't think the chickens are going to care. And I'm going to cut a new egg door right over here where it belongs. Silly me, but this is how I do things and it's not the end of the world. I didn't have another piece of plywood because I bought what I thought I needed. So I'm going to make do with what I've got. And I bet you when I seal it and paint it, you won't be able to really tell. Okay, I got the doors on. I don't have any handles for them yet, but the doors are on. Over on this side, you see the entry door. That's the egg door where they'll be laying eggs and you can just get them from the side there. Now let's go around the back and I'll show you the clean out door. And there's the clean out door. So this is the back clean out door of the chicken coop. And I've got two methods of keeping it shut tight. First of all, you'll notice the hook and eye over here to the right. That keeps it pretty well shut. And I've also got this little thing here where you can just do this and this and open it up. I had some old pull knobs that I wasn't using for anything, so I put those on for ease of pulling the door up. Here's the entry door. I have not yet built the landing, which will go right here. And then of course the ramp will connect to that. And I added a way to keep it open, which will be open most of the time. Just like that. And for the door that I call the egg door, which is how you will get in and grab the eggs because the nesting area is gonna be right in there. The way you fasten that is with this carabiner. Just like that. You may remember my mistake where I cut the egg door on the wrong side. I said the way I do construction is I always make a mistake or two, sometimes more than that. And that's why I think that it's encouraging to other people who don't have a lot of great skill, they don't have a lot of experience. You make mistakes and if you can, you just fix them. Otherwise you just start over again. So I'm going to patch this mistake. It's all screwed in so it's not going any place. And I wanna patch this up with some sealer. And when you paint it, you won't really be able to tell. You now you can see I've got this all sealed up and it's looking pretty good. Coat of paint and it won't be that noticeable. Alright, so you can see that I have put the tar paper as a sub layer on the roof and I have got the roofing nearly completed. I just ran out of shingles so I'm going to have to go buy another packet of shingles. You can see what I've done here. I know the colors are a little different. I had to reverse some of the shingles so that they'd fit. The problem is that it slopes this direction and this direction. So I've had to lay the shingles diagonally in terms of the frame. Never done that before, but I've had to do it this time just because it slopes basically that way. And so, anyway, it's been kind of fun. I'll go get another packet of shingles and we'll finish the job. Okay, now the roof. And around the front, I did something a little different. I've seen it done before. But since I had shingle left over in the front, I decided to wrap the front. And I've got it sort of fastened down with this little piece of uh, one by stuff. So that should be really nice and tight. 
far as ventilation, I have left some vents under the eaves of the front. And of course, in the back, there's, there's ventilation too under the back. So the chickens aren't gonna suffocate. So I made a top step out of some shelf brackets and an old piece of two by lumber. Okay, let's talk about how the chickens get in the chicken coop. I felt that the opening was a little too high off the ground for this ramp to reach very efficiently. And I'm gonna attach this ramp. Now the ramp is simply a cedar board that I have strengthened on one end with a little piece of one by and I put some hooks in the end. I'm gonna put some eyes down here to, to receive those hooks. And I've also put little, I guess you'd say brackets or um, cleats for the chickens to use because you know they don't like slippery surfaces. So this will help them walk up. There you go, finished product. I've attached some screw eyes right here and here to the top step. And of course the hooks fit right in. And it's a perfect way for the chickens to get up into the coop. Okay, one more final touch before I seal and paint. I've added a shelf on the egg door side so that you can put down a bucket or whatever you're gonna carry your eggs in or anything else that you've got with you, you can put it down on this shelf with easy access into the egg compartment. Of course, this is an old junk piece of wood, but I'm gonna seal that up and prime it and after it's painted, you'll hardly know. Plus, it's only a chicken coop. Okay, I wanted you to see what it looked like with a nice coat of paint on it. Got that sort of soft, light green color. I'm not much on the technical names of colors, but it looks pretty good, I think. And of course it matches our house, which you can see over there. Okay, I have completed the framing on the run part of the chicken coop. And you can see it's going to be very narrow. But that was the land I had to work with. There's a big rock. I don't know if you can see uh, kind of below that blue tarp. There's a big old rock. Must weigh several tons. Partly buried. So I had to work around that. Okay, so I've got the stock wire or fencing up pretty much all the way around. As you can see, I've got a little bit left to do here at the tops, but most of it's up. Now I have to make a doorway. So the doorway is there, but now I've got to make the door. So I will do that and we will proceed from there. Once we get the door on, we'll finish up with the wire fencing and we'll have ourselves an addition to our chicken coop. Okay, I got my door built and I have a little bit more fence wire to put on, including on the door, but it is really hot today. This is July 1st. And actually this is about the second or third hot day we've had this year in 2023. So I'm gonna go in and cool off, take a shower, relax, I'll finish this up either tomorrow or the next day. Notice the construction of the door is just out of simple two by fours. I had some connector plates. Actually, these were corner plates. You can see that I pounded them out flat so that they would work on the two by fours. And I've got the joints all connected with these modified plates. Makes it really strong. And you can see that I've done it on both sides. That door is pretty secure. All 
right, so now I have the fence wire up pretty much all the way around. You can see here's the front and with the, the gateway or the doorway all fenced and ready to go. And here's the back, all ready to go as well. So we're just about ready for some new chickens, actually pullets, almost grown and ready to lay eggs. Well, here we are with the finished product of this chicken coop extension. We've started with almost the very first thing that we did. We cleared the land, made a relatively flat space. Then we built the coop. Then we added the run and, of course, all the wiring and so forth. And we were going to get pullets. Pullets are sort of half-grown chicks into, into hens. They're relatively expensive and harder to find. So it was the last week of the chick season at this one particular store. It was early September and we decided we'd go ahead and grab these last chicks. We got three Easter eggers, three barred rocks, and three what they told us were Australopes, but I think that they are uh, Cucamarans. So I just hope you've enjoyed this series on how to build a chicken coop and I want you to see the finished product complete with chicks having their first day in the run. We've had them cooped up in the chicken coop for about a week. They're enjoying being outside maybe for the first time in their lives. This is Dr. Michael Bogart with Aspect Ministries and we'll give you just a little close-up shot of those chicks.